My name's Adam. I'm an Australian freediving champion, but because of COVID, I can't compete. So while we're waiting for the world to open up again, me and my wife Erin and our daughter Ellie are going on a freediving road trip around Australia. We're going to be living out of our tent and diving everywhere. So subscribe to follow the journey and a huge thanks to our patrons for making this all possible. Good morning, freediving family. So we've left on our camping trip. Uh, we drove from our home on the central coast to uh, the campground near Southwest Rocks, which is called Smoky Cape Campground. And it's beautiful here. We've just been having a pretty lazy morning and uh, we're gonna get the boat ready now and we're gonna go and uh, dive fish rock or black rock or green rock. There's a lot of rocks here in Southwest Rocks. We've had some huge swell in the area over the last week or so, so I hope that the, uh, the water has calmed down enough for the viz to be good, but we'll go find out. <laughs> just arrived at the old jail at um, Southwest Rocks and we're gonna go check out to see if we can find this boat ramp to launch the boat. Also this campground um, at the jail is so much better than the campground we're staying at. You can have beach views and it's grassy not dirty but we're just not gonna tell the other guys back at camp. <laughs> but if you do come to Southwest Rocks I think this is the place to stay, right near the jail. Because I often just wing things and don't do my research, I had no idea that this was a beach launch, which means that you need a four-wheel drive to launch the boat on the sand. We, we came here to look at the boat ramp, but it's like it's just straight on the sand. So our car and boat are not going to handle that, so I'm going to go launch in the bar. It's up in, like, um, in, the, in the river, but apparently the bar is pretty notorious. See what it looks like. If it looks too risky, we won't go out, um, but it should be fine. The other boat ramp was on the other side of town. We could launch into the river and then run out through the bar into the ocean. No, I think it looks okay. I mean, obviously you can see how like this is that long bank that yeah. you know, when there's good swell, you get caught there. So this is a picture of, of, from Google Maps of the bar about to cross. You can see that like, uh, just gonna, as we come out, we're gonna like stick to the right in that deep water there and just not get caught up near these waves and then shoot on out. It's 12 o'clock now and low tide is at four, which means we'd be probably coming in at about four. So we're not 100% sure if we should cross the bar. So Adam's just talking to a few people to get their opinion. What did they say? So it just looks like the tide is against us. Like um, if we try to go down, if we try to come back in when the tide is rushing out, apparently it's just, it's really hairy. And these, these boys are locals as well. So they're like, I don't think they, Seemed very keen for us to try. <laughs> we go for a fun dive off the rocks today and then we wake up early tomorrow morning and go early tomorrow. I reckon we do that. We headed back to the jail. Right out the front of the jail was this nice little rocky spot and after a morning of constant stuff ups, we were keen to just get in the water. So we're not actually gonna be able to take the boat out today, but it might not be a bad thing because it's been ages since Erin's actually dived. Yeah. So I think what we're gonna do here is we're just out the front of uh, Trial Bay Jail and we're gonna just go straight in the water and have like, like a bit of a, a muck around to play and sort of get Erin feeling good again, you know? So Erin uh, has actually totally forgot how to put a, a wetsuit on. I haven't, I've never had one before. <laughs> never had a wetsuit? They're an open cell. Uh -huh. So I, I suppose I may as well do a little, a little fang on it. So you basically lube it up, soap it up, water it up. I've covered it, you can see, in conditioner and water. And I'm making sure it's in every single... Area? Area, because otherwise it just sort of sticks to your skin. And now I guess I just put it over my head. Yeah, take, take your hat off first. Oh. <laughs> Where's this pad go? Okay, so I'm doing one arm first, and then apparently two arms. Oh my God, two arms. Just like a baby being born. Shit, this is gonna be scary. You'll be fine, it scary. Ridiculous. I'm scared. I'm, ever since I had a baby, I'm scared of everything. Three, two, what one. I can't get my head out. Adam, I'm scared. Oh. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. I can't do it. That was horrible. <laughs> oh my God. I, I can't, can't breathe. Hold Adam. Hold. The amount of people get scared putting these on. But no one gets scared putting these on. <laughs> I heard about you long before we met. You're winsome and you're young, at least that's what they I'm said Underneath your glitter and your gold <laughs> You can't deny the fact that you are growing old 
You have a thousand eyes that never fall asleep. Someday I will leave you when I've had enough of your beauty. I was really keen to get back in the water. Unfortunately, this dive site wasn't too interesting, but hey, it was still fun nonetheless. I haven't gotten used to your scent. I'm certain you have had another cigarette. Nothing could prepare me for your style. The way your laughter seemed to go for miles and miles. You have a thousand eyes. We were enjoying watching the gropers and looking at all the different fish life. Until Heather quickly shouted out, Guys, guys, I'm pretty sure I just saw a shark fin. So we all kind of, well, I panicked and kept swimming as fast as I could back to shore with Heather. Although Adam was just frolicking along behind us because he was certain it was a dolphin. Although there have been quite a few shark sightings in this area recently, so I'm not quite as confident as Adam that it was definitely a dolphin, but hey, probably was. <laughs> in my haste to get out of the water on the rocks, I dropped my mask and I was definitely not going to get back in that water. So I sent Adam to go find it. <laughs> I actually had zero confidence that he was gonna find this mask because the swell was quite decent and the waves are hitting these rocks quite hard. It was a pot of dolphins, just so everybody I don't knows. Think it was, I don't it think was, it was. I saw Where them, it was dolphins. It was at and, least three uh, meters big. Three it's meters of dolphin. Waiting for us. <laughs> we are at day two, and Adam and Mitch are about to go out to see seal rock. We want a fish rock. So fish rock and black rock. Um, and the three ladies are going to try and maneuver this rain with two babies, <laughs> which is going to be fun. Pray for us. Pray for us. <laughs> So we're just launching the boat on the beach here. Um, I've only got a two wheel drive, so there's no way I can do it. So we've got Ryan's car. You'll meet Ryan in a second. And Ryan's gonna be taking the boat down and uh, launching there on the beach. So let's hope we don't get bogged, eh? <laughs> some, some guys got bogged earlier and we're like, oh no, should we try it or should we not? But we're gonna give it a go. Here we go. Darling, I know. Hi, Ryan. Hey. Who's Ryan, by the way? You know, Mitch? And Bailey! <laughs> oh, it's digging. So it looks like we've got to let down the um, pressure on the on the trailer tires. Putting a stick there to help it get out. The tires, the tires are flat. We've buried, uh, we've dug rocks in under all the tires to get some good purchase when the wheels start spinning. So uh, fingers crossed, let's go. Hey, success, success. I couldn't film that last week because I was pushing the car. <laughs> All right, we're underway and the sun has come out and the viz looks really good. So um, I've, got, I've got high expectations. So just quietly, that was the very first beach launch I've ever done with my boat and I was silently pooing my pants the whole time. What do you mean you did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you I was supervised. <laughs> I was quietly pooing my pants as I was supervising. I thought, <laughs> yeah. I thought that's it. My boat's going to become a fixture of Southwest Rocks Beach. Uh, boys, just so you know, I am a brand new skipper here, so I'm not going to feel bad if you give me all the advice in the world. So just tell me what to do. Just don't sink this way. We will travel now. Alright, so right there ahead, that is Fish Rock. So we're going to get in the water and have a dive and, and see what this famous rock is all about. The water is really warm, like Thanks. Fish Rock is known for having like a really warm current that comes down here, which is why all the fish like, you know, are here. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use a fancy word and I was like, no, that's why the fish are on the rock. Because Fish Rock is a few kilometers offshore, I was expecting the water to be crystal clear, but uh, it was not. Underwater, the rock was exactly what it was above water. Just this jagged, steep rock that stuck out of the ocean floor. 
for a place called Fish Rock, I was really expecting more fish. <laughs> As we swam along this edge of the rock, I, it was just a little bit barren. Just at the edge of this channel is Fish Rock Cave. There was a lot of surge moving in and out of the cave though, and so today was definitely not the day to even go near the entrance. You can see how Mitch is being pushed back and forward with the surge just at the front of the entrance. So we just did our first little drift, it was pretty epic. Uh, this is an excellent, but still it's like it's, it's an epic prehistoric feeling place to dive So we're gonna get back in the water and um, I think some of these boys can do a bit of spearing and I'll just sort of doodle around and film some fish and Enjoy the sights. We went around to the other side of fish rock And this was the side of the rock that the current was hitting which meant that this is where all the fish were gonna be and they were there indeed This was much more like it And these were the kingfish that the boys were targeting. Kingfish are absolutely delicious. There were so many species of reef fish and pelagic fish on the rock. It was really cool. Definitely one of the most fishy spots I've ever dived. Look at that. A nice big school of kingfish just swimming along. Epic dive. I mean, I would have loved some better viz and maybe a bit of a calmer day, but zero complaints. It's like it feels really uh, prehistoric when you're out here. Fish everywhere. Obviously, you can't. Uh, you know, there, there, it, there's so many fish around because you can't actually catch any of the uh, reef species. So that's why you get all those huge snapper and huge brim. Really cool spot to dive. I, I want to come back on a calm, clear day so I can get into that cave and uh, and, and like really take the island in. We're, we're running a bit late for the girls, but we've decided to stop by at Green Island. Um, we've been told it's like an aquarium here, so I'm just going to get in the water with the camera. Maximum 20 minutes, like 10, 20 minutes. Just check out what's going on there, and then we're going to race back home. The boys got in the water with their spear guns, and I got in the water with my camera. At Green Island, the boys were targeting mulloway or jewfish. It's the perfect spot for them. I didn't see any jewfish, but there were just tons of brim swimming around. Beautiful silver brim. Just got back in, and um, it's going to bucket down with rain tonight and tomorrow. So we are going to... <laughs> race back to the campsite, unpack everything and drive a bit further north where we're going to be a bit more uh, protected from the rain. So we'll do it fast. <laughs> hey Ellie, do you want to film for mummy? Do you want to help mummy film the vlog? Yeah. Off you go while I pack. Thank you, Ellie. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing this little circular thing down here. Also, check out this video. Or you might want to check out this video because you might like it too.